Hi guys, it's Tracy here with part one of our five part final C&D challenge. I wasn't at all surprised to find out it was a fashion related challenge. I mean, hey, it's for C&D. They're at the forefront of fashion and technology in our industry. A special shout out to the Nails Magazine team and a special thank you to Jan and the C&D team for this hair raising challenge. I really, I had my hand in my hair a whole lot of times during this challenge trying to figure out how do you combine this machine made with this handmade process. Fortunately, through a lot of research and a lot of perseverance, I've come up with a couple of really unique ideas and I hope that I'm able to inspire the nail technicians that are watching to push your limits and come up with things that you never even thought you could imagine were on a nail. Johnny, Lena, I, I wish you a big thumbs up with your challenge. Can't wait to see what you guys have come up with. But that's enough chatting for now. Come and have a look what I've come up with. Ciao for now, guys. The first part of the design will be done by sewing machine. We're creating some pleats by stitching straight lines onto a piece of fabric. Hold one side of the fabric and pull the thread on the other side of the fabric, which creates the pleats. This pleated design will be held into place on the tip using double-sided tape. Using some metal sheeting, I've cut off some strips and attached these to the tip. These can be further held into place along with the fabric using some beading clamps from Jewelry Design. On top of the beading clamps, I've added some metal chain. The design can further be enhanced using some rhinestones. I will be using gel strips at various parts in the designs. In order to create these gel strips, Use a soak off top gel, cure it, apply a color gel, cure it and then add a chrome powder of your choice. This is then sealed again with the top gel, cleansed and then you're able to cut these into any shapes. I've created some strips which I will then attach using a resin to create lovely pleating for my design. The base nail has some peacock layering which is created with black LED gel. With regular curing you ensure that the enough relief stays and once you've added your gold chrome powder onto it this really pops out. Using a resin I can attach my pleat to the base design. So I've got my chef's hat on and I'm introducing you to shrinking plastic. Using Sharpie markers, you can create your design, color it in, cut it out, and then pop it into the oven for a couple of minutes. They become three times smaller and nine times thicker. I'm attaching these pieces at 90 degree angles using LED gel. On the back of each one of these, I'm adding some chrome powder before sealing it off. For this design, I'm creating a stained glass look. So later on, when I add some lights to it, the lights will shine through the stained glass, which is created in the shape of a peacock feather. Once again, using the gel strips, I enhance my design with pleating. Using a black color gel with an extra tacky layer, I'm creating a foil design base for this nail. The pleating on this nail will be done by using Creative Play Lacquer on a transparent base. When it's properly dry, you can peel it off, cut it into shape and create a concertina pleated effect. These pleats will then be held in place using decorative tape. Back to our gel strips where I've created an outline for a bow. Cut it out, peel it off. And the great thing about the gel strips is they can be held into place so easily using a dot of resin to create the bow. Instead of just adding a rhinestone, I decided to create one. This has a LED base with a layer of black color gel before adding various layers of cracked ice flakes and gold leaf. In between each of these layers, I've added a thicker layer of LED gel in order to create depth in the stone. This will then be filed into shape and finished off with a no cleans top seal. Further enhance your uh, stone by creating a peacock design using a gel paste. You have great control over this, so it doesn't run when you're using it. 
this is dusted off with some gold chrome powder. Who would have ever thought that I could become an origami master at this time of my life? I needed a design to take to the 3D printing company, so I started bending, folding, cutting, and came up with a design that was pleated and looked like a peacock tail. So off we went to Layers, which is a 3D printing company in Eindhoven, and I got to sit down with Albert and Jeroen and explain to them exactly what it was that I was looking for. They were pretty fascinated that they were creating something for nails. It was pretty fascinating because the machine they chose to use to create this design is a gel-based machine where they shoot UV light through it to create the 3D element. This has a slightly tacky layer and I could quite easily add my various color chrome pigments to it. I extended the lines coming from the peacock tail onto the nail using a gel paste to create a great relief. This will once again be enhanced once I've added the chrome powder to it. On top of the second nail, I've used the gel paste to create some squares and this gives it a bit of a cushioned effect because the gel is creating a lovely 3D effect. You can really see this once we've added the chrome powder to it. Much of the inspiration behind this design has come from the Manus Ex Machina exhibit at the Met. I've included the link below. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue watching as we continue our final process to Nails Magazine's Next Top Nail Artist.